What is going on guys? JT Gilly back with another video and look where we are. We're at a, we're at a gas station. We're at a gas yeah. station and you, you might be wondering why. Uh, we're going to LA right now. We are on the way. It is early in the morning. We just got, we just woke up. We got together. Jake's in the car. He's and sleeping. We're gonna freaking, we're gonna go to LA. This is the trip of the summer. Yes. For me at least. I don't know, maybe. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a week a really long trip. One. I've never been in LA for a week. It's always been like five days. As you guys can see in this frame, Brandon's fingers got absolutely annihilated by the door. They're literally stuck in the door. So he, he was in he was in a lot of pain. Oh, it's gonna be a long week. It's gonna be a great week. We're gonna go to E3. We're gonna talk about the new update in this video and the new news that came out today, literally like two hours ago. That's absolutely lit. We're gonna get to all that today in today's video, and I'm gonna talk to you guys back in the car. What is going on guys? So we're back on the road. We are almost halfway to Los Angeles. It's about a six hour drive and uh, we're about two and a half hours in and we're heading to this place called Harris Ranch that Brandon has recommended. Apparently it's like a nice restaurant kind of off the road off of I-5 and it's a great restaurant. So we're gonna go there, have some lunch, get some editing done, probably catch some Pokemon because I know he caught an Ursa ring there last time. So we're gonna lure that up for sure, try to get some fire Pokemon catches. We've got a lot to talk about today and today's gonna be pretty lit. We're, we're back in LA, we're back in Santa Monica. The last time we were here, Gen 3 dropped, or Gen 2 dropped, sorry. So uh, I'm, we're expecting some big things this time around. But for right now, we're just driving. We're having a great time. It's just me in the car. Uh, Brandon is a little bit ahead of me because Brandon is driving a very fast car and I'm just chilling. I'm just I'm just bulling in my car, driving, listening to music, having a great time. But uh, I'll get back to you guys when we get to Harris Ranch. See you later. All right, we freaking we made it. All right, so we're at Harris Ranch. It's like an inn slash restaurant. Apparently, it's really good. Brandon has talked it up a lot, and it looked really good in this video. So I'm super excited. And as you can see on Pokemon Go, there are two, there are three Pokestops right here, and there's an Instinct Gym. For some reason, I haven't I haven't seen one in like months. So we're gonna post up in here for sure. Should we? What should we post up with? You know what? I think Blissey might give us the best chance. Let's post up with. Oh. Brandon said there was a wild history. Let's post up a Blissey up in here. So are we leading this thing right here? Putting a Blissey in? Yeah. Yeah, I'm leading the gym, baby. Let's go. Team Instinct rocking it out. You guys can't take this down. I'm sorry. Hey, yeah, I, I don't know if I want to. Why on my phone? All right. I put a Blissey in the gym. They're going to take it down, but that's my gym. I'm going to hold it down for the family uh, for Team Instinct. But there's not a lot of Pokemon on the nearby, just a Vulpix and some stuff. But we're going to lure the Pokestop, see if we can get something good. He got an Earth Ring here last time. So I'm excited to see what we're gonna get. Let's get some food. All right, nice. We just ordered our uh, meal, and now we're gonna lure up a few stops. I know you guys can't see it, but there's two stops, kind of far, not where we were sitting at all, but definitely in the area. So we're gonna lure them up, throw two lures down. Hopefully, we can learn something good. Brandon did catch an Earthling here, so apparently it has good spawns. And we brought in a Venonat and a Sandshrew. So yeah, I guess that's what we're getting for now. But uh, we got about half an hour though, so we're gonna go back in. We're gonna sit down, have our nice meal. Like we got, I got a fire burger. That's gonna be fire. I'll show you guys that in a second. But again, just wanted to lure that up, see what we can get, and uh, hopefully we get a lit spawn. Actually, and I'm curious, what has been your guys' most random, or best most random encounter? Like, what, if you guys encountered a really random Dragonite, a Tyranitar, etc. Let me know in the comments. Let me know the story. I think mine was probably a Dragonite at McDonald's, or a, uh, hmm, what else? what's been a random encounter? It's a lot of oh, the Typhlosion that, oh wow. Are you gonna see that in the next video? That might be the video before this, I'm not sure. But let me know your most random encounter with your best Pokemon. Let me know the whole story, that'll be lit. Dude, it, it, wow. it's glistening. The food is glistening. Are you guys ready? So ready for what? For what you're about to endure? It's terrible. Wow. Um, that was amazing as you guys saw the video wasn't as good as it was trust me I, I know it wouldn't seem that way, but it was just amazing. We're full, but we need to go back to LA or we need to go to LA We got another about a Like another two hours two three hours almost we'll get, No, I don't know. Let's not three and a half Six hours yeah, I'm down. let's just walk for the rest of it. We got to walk off the burgers You know now we got to get back on the road and uh, get through it and we'll go see what our plan is for today We don't even know what we're doing. All right we finally made it. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a, like three hours since we here. last linked up, but we're we're in LA or we're in Santa Monica. We're here. I don't know what the plan is for tonight, but um, knock on wood, we made it, and it's gonna be a great time. So we're gonna see where today takes us. But we're here. All right, guys, and as you can tell, we are back at the Mystic Seven household. We're all chilling. We got everything unpacked, and now I gotta finish and get to what we're gonna talk about today. So as you guys must know by now, Pokemon Go dropped a tweet that confirmed the recent leak that there was gonna be a brand new event from June 13th to the 20th, I believe, containing fire and ice type Pokemon, and that is 100% true. Like I said, that leak was very reliable, 
and I said it in my previous video. I was like, guys, this isn't 100% accurate, but it's like 95, because this guy is literally called every freaking event that's ever happened. I don't know who he is or how he knows this stuff, but I gotta get a hold of him. This guy knows a lot more than we do, but he's plugging it up, and that's awesome. So there it is. This is the tweet right here from Pokemon Go app. Pokemon Go's one-year anniversary is right around the corner. Get ready to celebrate. And as you guys can see, they included a picture that is a uh, pretty... It's just like a regular picture, right? No, it's not. We'll get to all that in a little bit. Let's go read the article. Celebrating the... <clears throat> Celebrating the first anniversary of Pokemon Go. Focus. Focus on my face. There you go. Trainers, we're celebrating two amazing milestones. Pokemon Go's one year anniversary, which is July 6th or 7th, I believe, and 750 million global downloads, and you're invited to join in on the fun. Over the next few months, we're hosting real world and in-game events planned alongside some very exciting new features that will get you outside exploring the world with family and friends. Get ready for an action-packed couple of months. So that's something that you really want to take in. Action-packed couple of months. So they got the summer. Summer, like the summer is going to be fire to kick things off. So those first sent, there's two sentences right there, or those two phrases really just show you how big summer is going to be. One, it said action-packed couple of months, and two, it said to kick it off. So that means. That's not it. Like, this is just kicking it off. This is just a small part of it. We will be hosting the Solstice event starting on June 13th, 2017, probably starting at 1 p.m. Pacific time. This in-game event will feature Fire-type and Ice-type Pokemon, huge XP bonuses for throwing Pokeballs accurately, and discounted Lucky Eggs in the game shop. Soon thereafter, you can look forward to a new update focused on collaborative group gameplay features that will get you playing Pokemon Go in fun new ways. Like I said, total different aspect to the game, and it's going to be greatly amazing. Like I said, I really I'm happy that they took their time with this. I'm glad they delayed it and you guys should be too They want to make it perfect and they want to master it and that's the that's the right way of doing it in preparation for these exciting features We'll temporarily disable gyms for a short amount of time. Yeah, so uh, probably like I, I would say a couple days to a week before the actual update comes out They're gonna stop with gyms like they're just gonna kill the gyms all your Pokemon are gonna be returned and uh, Gyms are not gonna be available for that week because they're gonna figure it out I don't really know why they would have to disable gyms to do this just try to plan ahead So maybe a week or two before this event comes out I mean update comes out just make sure that you know that gyms aren't really gonna be a thing We're also really excited to announce our first ever real-world Pokemon Go event coming your way It's gonna be a legit real thing happening in real life an event like hosted by Pokemon Go it's Pokemon Go Fest Chicago. This event will take place in downtown Chicago, Illinois, United States of America at the beautiful Grant Park on July 22nd, 2017. Join us as we celebrate the Pokemon Go community with a ton of exciting festivities. Tickets and more information on Pokemon Go Fest will be available at that link on Monday, June 19th. So make sure to mark your calendars and follow our social media channels. And then I'm gonna scroll all the way down a little bit. Also, the Pokemon Company is organizing a Pikachu outbreak, a Pokemon event in Yokohama, Japan, when in August, when they're exploring a unique Pokemon Go experience, stay tuned for even more details surrounding each of these events in the coming weeks. So that last sentence, uh, if you guys can't tell, it's telling you like, it's about to go down, like something's gonna drop really, really soon. So what we've taken from this is that they said that Legendaries are gonna come out. They haven't said anything about Legendaries in this article, but they also confirmed that they were gonna come out in the summer, and I think that's exactly what they're talking about. It says, stay tuned for even more details. And there's two separate events, one in Japan and one in Chicago. So I think they're gonna, at those two events, release Legendaries, and that'll be a big, huge thing. Which also brings me to another point. A lot of people are speculating that Moltres and Articuno are gonna drop on June the 13th for this Fire and Ice type event. Uh, it's kind of unlikely, because that'd be random just to drop two of them, like why not Zapdos? But it, you know, very much is a possibility. We don't, we don't exactly know. But more than likely, I think Legendaries will be dropped at these two events, and that'll be a big thing. Either Legendaries or Gen 3. So then it just ends with keep an eye on PokemonGoLive.com and our Pokemon Go social media channels. Speaking of which, this, this uh, Pokemon Go Fest in Chicago, we we might be there. We might have to make a trip out to Chicago and be a part of that. That's lit. It's like a it's a really like a you can't miss that. It's like, it's like a one in a lifetime. It's not, but it's like a first time ever experience. A real Pokemon Go event hosted by freaking Pokemon Go themselves. Me and Mystic are probably gonna make it out there. I know he is. I gotta see if I can make it out there. It's gonna be lit. Make sure you guys, if you guys can, try to make it out there. July 22nd, Grant Park, Chicago, Illinois. Be there. And now that we got the actual event out of the way and you guys know the official details, I want to get to something 
really more exciting. So when you look at this Pokemon Go Fest picture that they tweeted out, you're like, oh, it's just a picture with a few Pokemon. It's showing a picture of Chicago. That's awesome, blah, blah, blah. But when you really look into it, I think there's more, there's more to it than just what you see on the screen. When they tweeted it out, I spent a little bit of time looking around and I was like, I feel like there just gotta be, there's something too unique about this. There's just so much stuff going on. It looks like they're trying to distract you from something. And like, I feel like there was just something hidden in this picture. And guess what? There actually was. So I'm gonna scroll through, I'm gonna scroll. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna pan through the whole picture. And while I do that, I want you guys to let me know if you see anything that catches your eye. All right, I'm gonna do it once. I'm gonna go from Charizard all the way to the middle. Just keep your eyes open, keep your eyes open all the way to the right. So I think you guys can see, there's a few things that we can see right off the bat. There's the Blastoise, the Butterfree, the Pikachu, the Snorlax, Larvitar, Togepi, and that um, Meryl, and then Venusaur and Charizard. And that pretty much is everything that can pretty much catch your eye very easily. You see a couple Pokestops in the background and the city of Chicago, which makes this a really cool picture. Now, before I do reveal the three secrets that I see in this picture and what they could possibly mean or lead to, I want you guys to comment anything you see in here or any theories you have regarding this picture or any theories you have regarding this event. What do you guys think it will happen? What do you guys think of the event? Let me know. Is there anything I'm missing in this picture? Definitely let me know in the comments or on Twitter at official JT Gilly. But let's get to the three secrets that I can see from looking at this picture. So I got my magnifying glass and I started looking through this thing and I was like, huh, there isn't really much to see. And I was like, maybe there's something that's like hidden in the bushes or something. And then I got over here, this is freaking unknown right there. I think a lot of people may have saw that already, but that is something that is kind of hidden. Like it's in the shadows, you can't really see it. But what's really weird about it is that it's kind of an unusual symbol. Like I'm looking at, I've done some research and I'm looking at the unknown chart and that's not a letter that is on here. From what I can tell, that looks like a rotated C. I'll have the C unknown, the letter C unknown on the screen here, and from what I can tell, the most similar thing that is, it, it's like a C that's kind of turned to its left a little bit, so it's, I'm not sure why they have it like that, because I'm, you know, you don't have letters, like in real life, you don't have letters to the side, like, or rotated, you just put them straight, like that's how letters are, but for some reason, this is like a weird rotated C. I don't know if that means anything or what that could mean. Let me know your guys' theories about that or if that's not even a C at all. Maybe that's something that I don't know. Is that a, what, like a parentheses or a, well, I don't even know. Like I'm literally looking at the chart and it, it's the exact same formation as a C, just tilted. Maybe it's just a C and I'm overthinking it, but let me know your guys' opinion. So that is the first secret we've seen in this new Pokemon Go picture. Now for the second one, I scrolled all the way over here, but before I do, I just wanna show you guys, there is like Pokestops in the back, nothing special about those. There was like some red bushes right there. I kinda thought that was something, but it doesn't look like it is to me. Um, now we scroll all the way over here, and who's that little buddy right there? Is that Heracross? What is Heracross doing in Chicago? As you guys know, there is a regional Pokemon Heracross of Gen 2, and he's not available in Chicago. It's just, is he? Brandon? Is, is Heracross, can you get Heracross in Chicago? He cannot get Heracross in Chicago. Okay. As you guys know, Heracross is a Gen 2 regional Pokemon, meaning you can only get him in, I believe, the southern or below the equator, right? Is that right, Brandon? Yeah. Right, yeah, okay, so you can only get him below the equator, so anywhere from like like South America, Australia, etc., and some other like specific spots. But there's only a certain amount of places you can get a hair cross. I think Hawaii as well. So there's a hair cross right there, and that's weird. It's like why would there be a hair cross in Chicago? And that creates a lot of speculation because it's like, um, are they going to make regionals non-regional anymore? Are they going to open regionals to everyone now? I, I don't know. There's a lot of weird stuff. I don't, I'm not really sure. I'm not. I'm not really too sure what to think of this. The only thing is like they didn't put that there randomly. If they would have put like a Tauros there because that's regional to America. I don't see why they would put a Heracross in Chicago even though, because they know, we know it's a regional Pokemon. It's not available literally, if physically impossible to get in Chicago. Even if you spoof, it's literally impossible. So the only thing I can think of is that Heracross has gotta be, I mean, they're gonna, they gotta start releasing region, re, wow. So what I'm thinking is that maybe regionals from Gen 2 and Gen 1 are gonna be open to the whole Pokemon Go world land or world. So they're gonna be available everywhere and I guess there won't be any more regionals uh, for Gen 1 and Gen 2. I guess the only thing I can take from this, let me know what you guys think in the comments, but that's the only thing that kind of makes sense and that, that I can tell because it's kind of weird, like I said, to have a hair across in America when it's literally impossible. But that is the second secret and uh, that's gonna be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we get there, 
Did you guys notice something when you're looking at this hair cross? Yeah, I'll give you a sec. Just look at the hair cross. Do you guys see anything like peculiar about it or anything uh anything out of the ordinary? I'll give you a sec. I'll give you a sec. Go ahead. Look, pause the video, pause the video, go ahead and watch. If you zoom in quite a bit, there's another little unknown right there. You guys can see there's a little unknown. And that's awesome. We're like, oh, there's an unknown over there. What? Like, oh, who cares? There's another unknown over there. Like, what? Are they gonna spawn another? No. What the problem is is that unknown is not in Pokemon Go Gen 2 as of right now. As of right now, only the letters are released in Pokemon Go Gen 2, and that unknown is an exclamation point. I'll have it on the screen for you here. That is an exclamation point unknown, which is not available in Pokemon Go Gen 2 as of right now. What does that mean? I don't know. What what do I think it means? That they might release this with pairing with uh, either Legendaries or Gen 3. They can very much drop Gen 3 at this Pokemon Go Chicago event or on this day in general. It is very possible they can do this. They might just drop those two unknowns, the exclamation point and the question mark, because those are the two that are not in the game right now. They might just drop those with Legendaries. Kind of makes sense, but at the same time it could be Gen 3 because we do not have those in the game right now, and it'd be kind of weird to add them late, but it's happened before in the past with like baby Pokemon and stuff like that, so we really never know. But that's a freaking exclamation point unknown. That Pokemon is literally not in Pokemon Go yet, so this is that you guys should be excited about this. Something is going on, something is happening that we don't know, and I'm really, really excited to see why they put that unknown there, and it's kind of weird. Like, I feel like they kind of they, they wanted people to find this one because it was kind of it's not easy to find, but like. Everyone was looking at the hair cross, so everyone kind of saw the unknown. I feel like they should have hit it like super bad, like really hit it like, like you could barely see it, but you can still see it. I don't know. There could, there very well could be more stuff in here that I'm not seeing. Let me know in the comments or tweet me on Twitter, like I said, at official JT Gilly. Let me know if you guys see anything here. I thought there'd be like something like in the shadows, but from what I could tell, that's it. But those are the three secrets in poke in the Pokemon Go picture. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, remember to leave a like. I'm not really sure if we're gonna do anything else in today's video, but uh, for now, I am gonna do an outro. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, remember to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys think about those three secrets, and let me know if you guys have any, if you guys find any more, and let me know your theories. I will see you guys later. Deuces.